teaches the thing that they need to understand all those things and make sure that they insist that in some of this, that some of this in the terms of our agreement. I'm happy that the minister said that is uh, in, uh, in the, our Donald Trump uh, for Nigeria negotiation. You know, so I'm happy that he he he, he says so. So I, I expect that some of these details uh, should be made public, and uh, you know, to know exactly they shouldn't be excited about doing anything. The point is that. How are we, are we in Africa as a whole? We are not asserting ourselves. On what way? On what we can do. If I were the government, I would just, first of all, do some um, uh, in house uh, housekeeping and all that. Bring in some of these Ni Nigerians. We know exactly what is our national strategy. How can we compete with globally? Without a strategy, a national strategy, and yeah. how to compete globally, there's no way we are going to. Yes, infrastructure is a major thing. Yeah, but Let's, isn't that what we see? Don't we see a strategy in some of these? If we sign this agreement for our ICT backbone and then developing the real infrastructure as an alternative means of transporting moving goods from the ports, isn't that a strategy? No, you see, because there are some, uh, some aspect of the national asset that should be con under the control of Nigerians. Okay, uh, let's talk about that in just a moment yeah. and we'll come back from this break. Don't go away. Welcome back to Sunrise. Well, uh, Dr. Wenzel, you were talking about uh, sustainability of some of these projects, but um, isn't that a challenge that we've had over time? Uh, much as, yes, you say, the good thing about this agreement over China is that they don't meddle in your politics, but it's about us getting it right here to the extent that we see whichever government comes in is able to build on what has been before. Yeah, that's the biggest challenge that we have. The PDP administration that APC took over from, we saw what happened. They forget that government is a continuum. And that's how nations develop. Yeah, but, but did they continue some projects, even some real projects, which they commissioned, which uh, clearly Everybody but, saw but, that but, with Papa. Yeah, but, but again... So they could not have forgotten. You know, yeah, because they, they, they thought that. They were telling us that they started a project. You know how these people, when they come into power, they say, before when, I, when we came, I'm, so, I'm even happy that the minister, honorable minister of uh, trade, uh, didn't mention that. That, you know, usually, you know, when they come in, uh, when, we came into this, uh, when we came into this ministry, nothing was working and, and all that. We had to start from the scratch. That, that used to be the uh, lingo you know, in the past, but I'm happy to mention that. Because, because you need to continue. There are some uh, you know, things that they have done which are you know, the real, real issue. But they gave the impression that they started from the scratch and all that. But they, no, it, governments are continuing. There's nothing wrong with you picking up from. And that's why we have this challenge. Until we learn how to, and again, uh, how to really work from where the other person uh, stopped. And again, yeah. the, the minister has a challenge. Yes, which, he has this lofty is, idea and all that. But he's not working alone. In the, his ministry is just one. Some of the decisions will involve other, other ministries. Are they in sync with, with each other? And the ministries always have a way of uh, doing what I call turf protection. Let me protect my ministry and all that. But they're not selling the same idea. Yeah, but he, has to, he has to do a lot of salesmanship to get other ministries. But you do not to, quite, to join, quite a number of to them. Join in, to join in, in this thing. Yeah, but quite a number of those other ministers are also in sync with this. We've seen that of transportation and several others who were also on that particular trip and putting uh, things together. But looking a little beyond this, because uh, they also they talked about several things. The agri loan was also there. You know, we talked about access to single digit interest rates, which is part of what this affords us. But in terms of the fine details of these deals that have been signed, what kind of what do you what part of those would you like the government to make public? Because I don't think they can make everything public. Can well, <laughs> well as much as um, you know one is the issue of creating jobs, because that's what we desperately need. Not just giving people employment, but again, giving them opportunity to become part of the projects going on. What can they supply? What can they source locally? And our local contractors, our local engineers can also consult, local consultants can also be part of that project. That's how people learn from projects. 
And that's how China even learned from that lesson. You know, from from uh, foreign investors that um, you know have made them made it possible for them to grow the way they have done. Okay, so the point it depends on us. Let me give you an example. When Shell entered Malaysia, Shell uh, the Malaysian government gave them ten years to build capacity. If they do not achieve that, they'll be gone. And then they. The Malaysian government gave them what they wanted. They must do this, and they were effective monitoring. And in less than 10 years, Shea was able to achieve that. And at a global event in Geneva, oil and gas event, when the then global CEO of Shell spoke, he was proud and saying that, you know, uh, Shea was able to do this. Then in Nigeria, no, uh, you know, who is into oil and gas? Who was at that conference went to him and said look you were able to do this within this period in malaysia but what about nigeria you've been there forever he laughed and said go ask your government so they know because so part of the problem that is you can't even blame some of these people is the way our own government put their personal interests or whatever they it is or group interests above the national interests so it behoves the government to come up with a strategy to make sure that, and again, to implement, make sure that all these agreements are, are, are followed. We so, need to, because your, your colleague in Abuja asked, uh, you know, uh, we also asked um, the minister, what is, whose strategy are they working on? Whose strategy? The Chinese came with their strategy. The, the French came with their own strategy. The uh, Germans came with their own strategy. The British came with their own strategy. And said, this is what we want. But have we been able to come up with a strategy on how to deal with of what we want? So that we'll be able to, you know? Because the Francophone, for instance, will not be able to deal as much as the Anglophones. Because of their yeah, relationship but with That the, was on a French. broad perspective, I think. Yes. But when it was Nigeria-specific, he was able to relate to some of those. But since you didn't mention... The debt refinancing component uh, it suggests that we don't have any cause for concern in this area, do we? The debt uh, refinancing of these loans from China, so clearly. Uh, no, but, but, but the point is that once you're able to um, you know, borrow this money, you should tell us, okay, how long? How are we going to pay? Sometimes it's by butter. If you can't pay cash, they take your natural resource. You know? So these are some of the fine okay. details that we have to pay. We have to be uh, careful. And some of these projects... Even though I haven't seen where uh, that exactly happened. Maybe I'll check. Because the ones I saw, the country denied it and said that was not the case. No, but they, uh, wait, when wait, you, wait. you have oil, you don't have cash. All right. And they need, need, they, need, they need the oil. All right. Well, I'll at this point. Dr. Austin Wayne is an economist. Thanks for coming on this morning. Thank you. All right. Back to you guys in Abuja.